Hello everyone, welcome to Adhyana classes. Today we are going to discuss the assignment on navigating the seas which is from the past of dead recognitions. We can see that few things, we, few details could actually vary in your question and in our question. Like in this case you can see the ship is sailing 6 square every month also one square represents 125 miles so it could be 10 squares per month for you and it could be 100 miles for each square another thing which could vary in your question and our question is the wind vector like the direction of the wind vectors could be different for you and for us also there could be third vector which is current of the river so Depending on that, we are going to have variation in the solutions, but let us try to understand how it is actually done. So first part of this question says that we have to actually starting from a point of origin that is Portugal need to sail to the land on the west. Now since we can see that sailing vector is having six square every month, so moving straight in the west direction, we'll see that overall five complete vectors and one vector with three squares so out of six if it is three squares it is going to be half and definitely it will take half the time so five scale will be five months and half of it will take half months so the first part of the question says like which land where it will be reaching so it is going to be Massachusetts from USA also the months took will be 5.5 now in the second part like I said there is going to be wind vector involved so the wind vector could be different for you and us three square south two diagonal square southeast and so on so let us start from Portugal again now initially we'll start with our ship vector of six squares to the west and then the wind vector the first one is three squares south so we'll reach to this place and this will be the resultant one R1 for the second month again we're going to move west in six squares for ship vector two and the wind vector is two squares diagonal southeast so depending on that we will be moving two steps down and two steps to the right now this is going to be the resultant from the previous one so from r1 to this point will give you r2 and similarly s3 wind 3 is 4 to the west so this overall S3 plus W3 will become R3 resultant 3 and likewise S4 wind 4 which is 3 diagonal southwest so reaching this point as resultant 4 now fifth month will reach here and along with that we have wind so we'll reach to the land which is Cuba one variation could be there like in your question we can have one more vector that is current of the sea so in that case let's say at this point we are at R1 after S1 and W1 wherever you reach from there you need to apply your current of the C so that end point for that will give you the resultant of one vector likewise we can see that overall we had one two three four and five sailing vector so overall five ship vectors means five months so we are reaching Cuba in five months so this is going to be the second route in which we are taking five months now they are asking about the overall miles covered so first of all we'll try to measure the resultant vectors R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 then depending on the number of squares we'll multiply it with 125 miles because it was given that one square represents 125 miles it could be different for you so remember that now how to find this resultant vector r1 using Pythagoras and using vectors also so 6 square and 3 square will give us r1 square similarly 6 square in west direction and then coming back so overall it is only 4 unit in the west and 2 down so 4 square plus 2 square so we can see that r2 will be root of 4 square plus 2 square similarly for r3 as these two are going to be linearly added so s3 is 6 w3 is 4 that means 0 square plus 10 square which is directly 10 likewise we can add for r4 as 
6 and 3 so 9 unit to the west and 3 down so 9 square plus 3 square equal to r4 square similarly 6 square and 6 square will give us r5 square so in this way we'll get all these r1 r5 now values for overall distance covered we'll add them so this is going to be 30.152 squares now in order to get it in miles we'll multiply with 125 miles to get this value 4894 in the fourth part they're asking for the overall speed or miles covered every month so since the travel was for five months we will divide this 4894 by 5 to get 978.8 miles per month rounding off this is 979 similarly if they're asking for miles per hour five months 31 days in average and 24 hours each day so 4894 gets divided by 5 into 31 into 24 1.315 is the exact value and 1 miles per hour is the rounded figure for the fifth path we need to start we need to start from our position of Cuba to reach Africa so in this case let's see the map again from Cuba now in this case the wind direction is not given but we are asked to take any four varieties of wind direct wind vectors as per our convenience you can take something else or you could follow the same i have taken wind one as three east wind two as three diagonal square units and that is east and north w3 is three squares to the north and w4 is two squares south east so again with S1, W1, then S2, W2, S3, W3, S4, W4. One by one, we can see that one, two, three, and four. Four shift vectors means we are taking four months. And overall, again, we can find the resultant similarly. So let's check the calculation part. They have also asked us to mention the all wind vectors. So we have mentioned the wind vectors. Then we can find the values of R1, R2, R3, R4, likewise. And then the total distance is going to be 33.441 squares in miles we need to multiply this with 125 miles and again in a similar manner miles covered per month we need to divide it by four because we took only four months this time and in order to find miles per hour the time is four into 31 days in each month and 24 hours in each day which again gives us one miles per hour rounded off otherwise exact value is 1.404 I hope every part was clear here and like I said there's going to be only one possible difference that you may have current of the C which means that after S1 you need to follow W1 and then you need to follow C1 considering that to be current and the resultant will be R1 so I hope this is clear and in any case if you have any requirement for the concept building or assist assignment assistance we can you can please drop us at this mailing address. Thanks for watching the video. Good day.